on our honeymoon, we, the day after the wedding, we came back from the hotel to visit my parents' house because everyone was still there. And so we all got the, our videographer on speakerphone and, you know, we were like, hey, Larry, can you put that this clip on? That was so funny. Online? Put that on YouTube, you know, and you'll put the other one on because there's a lot of funny parts in the wedding, right? I, Andrew Paul Daniel Ingstrom. I, Andrew Paul Daniel Ingstrom. Do take Melissa Renee Warren. Do take Melissa Renee Warren. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my waff lawfully. <laughs> and pancakey. I've been scared of this all my life. <laughs> he did, and we're thinking, oh, it'll get a thousand hits or something like that. It'll just be for our friends. And then several, three days ago, it was on MSN, the homepage. And, you know, it yeah. started out, and we, somebody was like, you're on MSN. You know, we all our no friends are writing us. We have no idea how they got the video. It started out, you know, I don't know how many thousand until we got to it. When we got to it, it was half a million. And then by the end of the evening, it was three quarters of a million people had watched our wedding video. <laughs> <laughs> Just give her a second. How we met? We met at SPU. Um, we were both students at Seattle Pacific University. I was really interested in Melissa Warren, but I knew that Melissa Warren didn't want to be pursued. Um, she was guarding her heart really hard, and she was very close to the Lord. And so I wanted to play it right, however I did it. But I wanted to guard my heart, you know. Whoever my wife was was very special. We had actually never hung out until the, the story really started. And Andrew started writing me. At age eight, Andrew started wishing for his wife. Yeah. Um, and so I've never met somebody, especially a young man, who's been so passionate about finding his wife and being ready for it. And he started writing me when he was 16. He, uh, he gave me a journal last year, and it started actually right after he, he broke up with his first girlfriend. And it was kind of helping him process through it, mm -hmm. but it was also he wanted to start writing to his wife. So I get this, this letter. That when you're young, you have a long time to wait for your yeah. partner, and I missed her. And you can fill that in with another girl or with something else, or I tried to fill it in with you know writing her like she wasn't there. <laughs> For years and years and years. <laughs> in terms of sexuality, we, I, that was part of why I didn't date was because I knew I'm very sexual and if I were to get into the wrong relationship, I would get messed up. It's really hard not to. It's so hard and I knew it. Um, so. And I know it. <laughs> and that was a struggle for us at the beginning of a relationship. And so we set really stringent boundaries on ourselves. Yeah. And it was really hard at I first. I thought it was going to be, you know, just horrific. laborious minutes of the rest of our engagement. It, it ended up being hard. so, such a gift to us. And uh, it was like the farther we stepped back, almost the easier it got. But the more worth it it got. The where farther we, could we look stepped at each back other sexually such, from each other. Which a confidence that this is right. And we could spend more time with each other, you know, actually talking. And it meant for us that when that gift of sexuality came within the context of our marriage, it was never, it, and it hasn't been coupled with that feeling of guilt that would have, would have been there had we gone too far. And I remember saying that night and the, then the morning after, it was like, I have never given myself to anyone sexually. And now I've given this to you. And this consummation of two virgins coming together, it was like, oh, OK, now I have this surety that I am yours and you are mine forever. And that consummation of a pure marriage was such a gift. And I, didn't, I, had, no, I, I had no concept of it before the actual day happened. And I couldn't kind of get it into my soul that I was married now until the final that night when it was like, okay, this is real, and this is you and I. And I wept at the thought of mm. that, myself having given that to somebody else, potentially, mm. and not having that surety that came with just being one another. <laughs> 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 